Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects Quick Tip Scripting Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to call your system or run a command line or terminal bit of code easily with a script. And with this, you can easily get system variables, uh, get returns and send data into it as you'd normally type into, say, a command line or terminal on Mac. And with this, we'll be able to easily, in this simple case, alert what our current system time is using that command. Before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out this code in the GitHub link, try it out for yourself and make modifications. Make sure you follow us there as I always post code there way before the videos. And also in the description, you can follow us on Instagram for other updates. You can also join our Discord server and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. Also today, a special shout out to some of our members. We have Rodrigo, Hapi, Joppy, let me know how you pronounce that. Elad, Ferris, J Pearl, these are some of the people, uh, just a few of them, who help support the channel. And speaking of which, if you want to become a member just like them, get Discord status, get shoutouts, and get a little bit extra help, uh, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP on YouTube and get more perks than the ones I just mentioned. But we're going to basically be learning how we can execute code the same way as it would be typed into command line. In this case, I can say time, and this is gonna give me my current time on the system. You can even enter a new time, which I'm not going to in this case. But what we can do is use the call system method to basically send uh, code to our command line and execute it. You can see this code inside the scripting guide, inside the system methods. So you do need After Effects to run this because it has the system object. But all you have to do is uh, set a variable which is going to contain whatever it returns. Uh, in our case, it returns the current time. So all you have to do to call your command line is say system.callSystem and then put in your code. It can be a little bit more complicated because in the Windows case, you can say command.exe, which chooses to use, well, command.exe, which is our basically terminal window equivalent. And then we can use slash C, which uh, according to the guide, uh, invokes a command using a C switch. And I think what that will basically do is it will pass any command we use into the escaped quotes. So what is the actual code we're going to give it? Well, the command, basically after we put in this, which is our command, we're going to say time dash t. Now the dash t is there for a purpose, because if we use dash t, we can actually just get the time, instead of getting the current time is all of this information. The dash t is actually just gonna give us a little bit more detailed of the information that we want. So we can say time dash t, which is gonna give us around, in my case, 20 hours or eight o'clock, and I can alert my time string, which is the return from our call system. So when I run this, I'm going to get current time is that. And say I remove our time here, now we should get the current time is the current time is 20 blah 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 enter the new time and that's going to just be a way we can modify it a little bit so you can basically pass a string which contains the same information as you would give a command line all you need to do is follow uh, cmd.exe and a c uh, command basically execute a command and then the string of all of your text one final note regarding call system is you want to make sure whatever you're doing you have admin rights to do there are limitations if you just try and do a bunch of batch operations uh, without permission so just take that into account but that's going to do it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed if you did hit the thumbs up button down below hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel and down in the description you can check out this code again in the github link if we have any updates in the future for example if you you want some more different types of command results like Linux or Mac, we can put those in there as well. Uh, and make sure you follow us there on GitHub to get code updates ahead of time. Also follow us in the description on Instagram for other updates. Be sure to join the Discord server and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And of course you can become a channel member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP and get cool perks. And a link for that is in the description of this video. Thanks again for watching everyone. We'll see you next time.